Joining us now in the Arutz Sheva Jerusalem studio is Danny Dayan from the New Hope Party. Shalom. Shalom, Yane. Great to be in your wonderful new studio. Thank you very much. Welcome to be here. Uh, to, how is politics? I mean, you're, you're, you've been out there, a public figure, but politics is politics. Not easy. Well, you know, it's not a, a new world for me. I was uh, in the periphery of politics for many years, so uh, I was not very surprised, and I'm old enough uh, to... Uh, to deal with it and uh, you know I, I hope uh, nevertheless that uh, I will continue to be sensitive sensitive to criticism and sensitive to praise not to take the criticism that nevertheless not to take the criticism too harshly and not to t take the, pri the praise too seriously let's define you know on the Israeli political spectrum the new hope party because on the one hand right wing you were the head of uh, the Yesha council and we know where you're coming from, and also Gidon Saar, Zev Elkin, many of the members. But on the other hand, there is a, a statement, we are not joining Netanyahu. So what kind of government yeah. will we see, or what kind of, what's your dream government? You, we, we broke the paradigm. We broke the paradigm that in, if you are right-wing, you are a Retz Israel loyalist, uh, then you have to be also what in Israel we call a bibist, uh, 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 an unconditional uh, uh, loyalist of uh, Benjamin Netanyahu. Uh, we believe that after cons 12 consecutive years of prime minister and an additional three earlier on in the 90s, it's about time that we replace uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. Uh, Netanyahu of 2021 is not uh, Benjamin Netanyahu 2009 or 2013. Um, it is deteriorating and that uh, we are afraid it will continue. So we are uh, definitely a center-right party, um, loyal to Eretz Israel, loyal to Jewish values, um, uh, but uh, we came to replace uh, so the too long what kind government. Of, what of kind of government would you establish if you were able to do so? Look, uh, um, we uh, strive to form a national unity government. A national unity government in which uh, that will be also a healing government. Um, a government that will comprise uh, in the spirit of Yitzhak Shamir. Um, uh, all the parties that uh, want a Jewish and democratic uh, uh, state of Israel. And that includes everybody, that includes Likud obviously, that can serve under uh, Gidon Saar as prime minister, that includes the religious parties, that include uh, also Yashatid, which uh, uh, you know, a, a, a government in which uh, uh, we will have Gidon Saar as prime minister, um, Yamina of Naftali Bennett as a senior partner, um, Avigdor Lieberman of Israel Beiteinu, uh, uh, Bezalel Smotrich, probably also the Haredi parties, and if the Likud comes even better, um, will be a right-wing party, even if there are some uh, players that uh, do not adhere to that uh, definition. By the way, that was always the tactic of uh, Netanyahu, to include uh, Ehud Barak, or to include, uh, even he included Tzipi Livni, that I thought, I think it was a, a step too far. Uh, but, uh, uh, th so that will be definitely a, a national, gov a, a, a center-right government uh, that, you know, Yoni, it will be able to do good things. That's the way we and the way we understand good things, even more easy in a more easy way than the uh, Netanyahu government. You're uh, coming here really from your experience as a general counsel in uh, New York, and you see this, uh, you know, change of powers, which you hope will will happen. Something that is also important in terms of our connection and our relations with the United States? Exactly. You know, uh, uh, if uh, Netanyahu forms the government he advocates with uh, uh, the Haredim and uh, um, uh, Smotrich and Bengvir are probably Mansour Abbas, uh, the Islamist, and uh, uh, Bennett as a kind of fig leaf, um, uh, then that will be a government that will be so closely monitored by the Americans that they virtually will not be able to do anything. We don't carry with us the burden that Netanyahu, the Gidon Saad doesn't carry with him the burden that Netanyahu carries of being seen as a, 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 a quasi-Republican member, a Republican party. Uh, I myself have a, a extremely good relationship with the democratic establishment uh, in all the echelons. So I believe we will be able to do the things that Netanyahu promises and isn't able to deliver 
we will be able to deliver. And I want to add something, one, one thing that is very relevant today. We read today in Yediot Achronot a, a shocking a, a scoop mm -hmm. about the fact that uh, Netanyahu sent uh, uh, his deputy uh, uh, minister in the prime minister's office uh, to Ramallah to, to, to negotiate with the Palestinians, with the Palestinian Authority, uh, uh, support for him in the elections, tacit support, the informal support. And that shows you two things. First of all, how Netanyahu of today, to, to a large extent, has lost his, his barriers, his, his checks and balances. And the other thing, why the Palestinians were interested in doing that, you should ask yourself, because they know that with Gidon Saar it will be tougher for him. They know that Gidon Saar, they say Gidon Saar is to the right of Netanyahu, and it will be a more challenging government for the Palestinian Authority. So here you have the whole issue encapsulated in one news item. If you are part of the next government, what are your plans, hopes, and beliefs regarding our connection to Jewish diaspora? You were involved in that very much in the past few years. Well, I uh, see that uh, as one of the issues I uh, definitely will be uh, will deal with. Uh, um, you know, I think that uh, uh, Menachem Begin, one of my ideological mentors, I found a speech he made in Jerusalem in 1948 in the besieged Jerusalem, and he said, the sea is not the limit, it's not the boundary of our people. Uh, we have brethren across the sea. And I believe in that firmly. I think Israel does not uh, stand to its uh, obligations as a Jewish state in that respect, and I intend uh, uh, to be extremely active in the parliament uh, in this issue. Danny Dayan, New Hope, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Yoni.